Hello, Brickman here, and unfortunately, we did not get the trailer for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 released to the public, so I cannot be covering that, though it's said to be made public around Monday, possibly, so let's just hope that's true, but anyways, for now, we still do have a lot of character reveals and other details to cover, so without further ado, let's get into this, alright, so, we could at least discuss, though, a little bit of what happened in the trailer, so first up, they mentioned or showed that <laughs> different versions of the same character will be able to team up, such as how Spider-Man Noir can team up with the normal Spider-Man if you desire. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll have a unique special move instead of just doing that leapfrog thing, you know? Like, if they could just web up a bunch of things, like, I don't know what it would look like, but it would it could be something cool, right? The same Spider-Man, like, because they have the same abilities just, or something, right? 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 Yeah. And apparently something happened in the trailer where Rocket Raccoon had chicken blasters. I don't know if anyone cares, but that's a thing now, so that's that's cool. There was also this nice little comic book, Lego Fied with King the Conqueror. That's cool. I wonder if when you get the mini kits, they're also going to have the comic books again, just as they did with Lego Miles Avengers. I thought that was pretty cool. But, um, that's, that's just a little thing that was given away. Anyways, next up we have three vehicles. Of course, in the last video I mentioned we have Black Panther's jet and Crossbones truck, but now we also have this mini Ravager jet, which is also in a LEGO set, the LEGO Ravager Attack Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 set. So those are all pretty cool vehicles so far. I'm probably looking more forward to vehicles that were not yet in LEGO sets, because I always love to see a newly designed vehicle, see so yeah, how that works out. But we'll see about that. All right, now for the character reveals. You ready for this? So first up, we have Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. That's right. We have that variant that was probably mostly expected. Then we also have Dr. Octopus, and here's a screenshot of his first in-game look. So that's also really cool. I mean, we kind of thought he would be in it because of the first trailer for the game. But just in case you're wondering, and that's his new, like, classic uniform as well. So it's different versions from the first Lego like, Marvel Super Heroes, both versions, which was the ultimate and the normal one. But now we have his nice green and yellow suit. So that actually looks really cool. And also the updated arms, all from the Lego set it's based on. Next up, we also have Cosmo the Space Dog. That is awesome. And regarding Cosmo, Arthur said that there is an epic part of the game two-thirds of the way through that involves him. So expect to see Cosmo the Space Dog in the story of the game somewhere through. Yeah? Okay. And uh, next up, we have Greenskin Smash Troll. Never heard of him, but he looks really cool. Next up, we have Throg, which that is an awesome character. It's like a Thor slash frog crossover. So why not? I mean, it's a frog with Mjolnir. Yes. And then also we have Forbushman, another character I've never heard of, but he looks cool as well. Can't wait to see his abilities. And we have Howard the Duck, of course, Iron Duck. We already knew about those, and you could also say Carnum then, so that's all good. And then also now Gwenpool, which is great, all right? And it seems like she may be replacing Deadpool completely. I don't even know if we're still seeing Fox franchises, because they kind of said that we're most likely not, and that kind of sucks a lot. But hey... Just don't let your hopes down, man. We could still see them, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yes, Gwenpool is in the game, and she also looks really cool in this screenshot. And how about another character that was kind of confirmed? We have Moon Knight, which that is great. He was also in the first two Marvel games, I believe, right? Both of them. So I guess he's returning a third time. This picture here, please note, this is not the in-game picture. This is from the previous games. And I guess they wouldn't be changing up anything in the design, because you can see he looks the same almost in both first games. So there will also be bonus missions in this game as well, and then one of them will involve Howard the Duck trying to pitch his video game idea to the devs at ChronoCon, which is basically a gaming convention. That sounds like a really awesome comical bonus mission. I'm looking forward to that. And overall, I hope the bonus missions really have a lot to offer. But there you go, one's already revolving around Howard the Duck. That's awesome, right? Uh, so was one of the ones in the uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the first game, but we have another one. Over at the Q&A, somebody asked about how many new abilities and mechanics there were, and uh, basically Arthur said that there's going to be 96 different mechanics available, and that is a heck of a lot. That sounds insane, man. And then he also kind of confirmed Kamala Khan which is, you know, one of the Miss Marvels, basically, the stretchy one, you know that one? Yeah, and uh, she was in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, and she could shrink down in size and do mazes, so you have that ability right there. You could expect other characters like Ant-Man to be able to shrink down as well. 
And then also, finally, the last thing that was mentioned was that Mysterio is going to be battling the Sinister Six in one part of the game. And that actually confused me a little bit, because, you know, Mysterio is sometimes even a part of the Sinister Six, and in general, he is a supervillain. So I guess we might see yet again a hero and villain team up, but we'll see about that. Ultimately, you may even be able to play as Mysterio in the story. That would be awesome. I mean, Mysterio is pretty cool, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this news update. I'm sorry to kind of deconfirm X-Men characters, that's that's just what it said in the article I was reading, but hey, who knows, I mean, honestly, still, King the Conqueror is a Fox franchise, so I don't know, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just a little lost, man, alright, I don't know, but I will definitely keep you updated on that, so that all being said, thank you very much for watching, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for lots more videos coming real soon, you guys tell me what you think of all this news, and if you have any questions about the game, I'll be happy to answer, bye!